Mais en tout funk this morning uh, I just woke up late I was running behind do you ever just get that feeling was it mr. Magoo who was always late or or hold on was that Alice in Wonderland I think it was the rabbit who was always late <laughs> like I just feel behind like I'm in a rush and I didn't get to enjoy the morning like I normally do I was walking on the treadmill and then about 30 minutes into it I just started to have some real bad stomach pain so I was like I'm over this I'm gonna go get my hair done today because my surgery is on this Friday, which also means that there's no meal prep because starting on Monday, I am going to go on a liquid diet. So for the whole week, I'm gonna give my intestines a rest so that the doctor has a better chance of cutting them out without as much inflammation and things like that. So I'm not prepping anything because I am just going to be drinking and eating mushy foods for the whole week. Those mushy foods include like Slim Fast and protein shakes, some Ensures. Uh, I really just have to check the carbs and sugar on all that stuff. Definitely Jello. I might be getting some ice cream, <laughs> you know, so it's not all bad. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the different types of foods that I can eat and or not eat. So I just gotta think about that. I have so much work to do. I have so much shop work to do just because I pretty much manage our salon, so I have to make sure that I make arrangements for payroll, make arrangements to collect payments, see who's gonna answer the phone, make sure the shop stays clean. Like, it's just a lot to do this week, so I'm kind of cramming it all in and working as much as I can because I know starting on Thursday, I'm not gonna be able to work at all. So, right now I'm going to the shop to work and to get my hair done. And then after that, I might head to Whole Foods. I might head to Meijer. I don't know where I'm going. And then I gotta go home and clean up because I know that I'll wanna come home from the hospital to a clean house. So, lots to do today, this whole week, and I'm just gonna do it. Not feeling pumped about it so far, but we'll see where the day takes me. Oh, you know me, just sitting in the parking lot of your local Whole Foods just eating some hot bar like guys I have never seriously taken a look at the Whole Foods hot bar like WTF there's so many good options like I was leaving the shop today and I was like I want something to eat but I don't want Qdoba I don't want a bunless burger like where can I just go get some keto food already made and like don't you know the keto whole food gods was like we got you autumn have some of these carnitas. Look at this, carnitas, grilled veggies. Like what, what? Of course I had a gift card to Whole Foods, but of course I ended up also spending $40. I don't know how that happened. Mm. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I know exactly how that happened because I lost my damn mind. <laughs> I will give you a haul when I get home, but I just had to prop up the camera and tell you that that hot bar is everything. It's the char on the pepper. <laughs> and this whole thing was only $2.70. Like, this was the perfect mid-afternoon snack. Like, I am amazed right now. all my errands and like look at all the ice cream I bought 
I just decided to go with a little bit of everything, so I got me some Enlightened. I got me some Slim Twins. I got that so delicious. Like, I am very excited to try all of these. Also, for dinner tonight, look what I have. I'm about to cook up a Quest Pizza. I've never had these before, so I will definitely be showing you. This is, you know, it's a respectable size personal pizza. This whole pizza is 12 net carbs. I definitely have room for that in my macros today, so I will let you know how it is after I make it. Uh-oh, guys, I think I left it in a little too long. It said anywhere between 20 and 23 minutes, so I gave it 22, but like, wowzers, that's cooked. Let's look at the bottom here. It's just a little brown, doesn't look too bad, so I'm gonna let it stand for a couple of minutes, and then I'm gonna give it a taste. All right, guys, the moment of truth. I have a piece of the pizza. Look, the bottom there looks pretty good. The top, like I said, definitely a little bit Cajun, but like, I'm going for it. I think the hotter you eat this, the better, because I can definitely feel the crust starting to soften out. But this will definitely do. This is really good. The crust kind of dissolves in your mouth as you're chewing it, but for 12 net carbs, this gives you the take-home pizza feel that you want without any of the effort. I'm here for it. Okay guys, time to round out the evening. So like I mentioned, I'm not really gonna be eating anything this week in preparation for my surgery on Friday. So tomorrow, I am gonna have my final meal, which I'm assuming will be Qdoba. Uh, and then starting on Tuesday, I am going to go on a liquid diet, I guess. But I am getting in calories and things like that. It's just through everything I can drink. So some of the things I'm gonna be drinking are I got this chicken broth, so I'm thinking just regular broth, sometimes bulletproof broth with like butter and heavy cream. I got these Slim Fast Shakes. I really like the way that they taste and they only have one net carb, uh, you know, and they have 20 grams of protein uh, and they're quite filling. The last time I had these, my stomach hurt immediately after, so I don't know if it was these or something else. So I'm really gonna keep in tune with how these make me feel, but I have chocolate and vanilla. When I met Chella a long time ago, she gave me this goodie bag full of all sorts of things and in them were these little noosh peanut butter packets or almond butter packets. So I'm gonna have some of these. And then when I went to go see Matt and Mega a long time ago, they gave me a bunch of these keto chows. And so I'm really looking forward to drinking these. These are an ultra low carb meal replacement. So let's see what I have to add. Oh wow, these instructions are a lot more uh, intense than I thought. In a mixing container, add heavy cream, add powder, then add water, and says the total volume should be about 16 ounces. Mix until all the powder is wet. Stick it in your fridge for at least 30 minutes, though overnight preferred. Keep refrigerated after mixing and treat like milk. Wow, so good thing I read this or I would have woke up and thought that I could have it on the same day. So I'm gonna give this a real go, <laughs> see what it's like, and that's all I'm gonna be having this week. I have, this is mocha, there's peanut butter, salted caramel, banana, cookies and cream. So, I mean, hopefully I like those. I'll also get ready for surgery on Friday. Wish me luck, ah! Oh, also, I might just be having some straight up protein and fat shakes, you know, like I got Quest Protein, I got this Isol Pure. I mean, if I just add some heavy cream to those, like that'll make it a pretty balanced macro meal as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, and monthly weigh-ins. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next week. I have no idea what next week's video is gonna be because like, I'm gonna be in the hospital, but like, it's okay. I'll think of something. Thanks and I'll talk to you later.